Well, here are the blocks of my block of the month all put together. Now my task is to make a backing for this quilt. And I always try to use the leftover pieces of the fabric I have from the uh, front. And so now I'm going to just measure everything. I, I'm old school, I've got a tape measure, like a carpenter tape measure. I measure my piece and this one measures 80 inches across and 60 inches in the other direction. Those blocks are perfectly squared and I really like this quilt, I love the colors. So I've got a 60 by 80 inch quilt that's all sewn together. And now I just evaluate the pieces of fabric I have left over. That is my focus fabric that I used for all the blocks. And that's all I have left over. So I've got to be kind of stingy on the back trying to figure out where I'm going to put that. And there's even a little cut out of the corner of that, so I have to be careful. And then I have some of the pink um, flowery piece. There's hardly any of that. I probably won't use it in the back. That's all of that orangey one I have left. And there's not going to be any of that in the back either. They're too small for uh, making things unless it's little pieces. So that one, I hardly have any left of that. Oh, maybe some of that will get in the back. I'll have to see. And then here's a bit of the purpley color. I like that one. It's nice and bright. Here's the, the dark blue. Oh, I have quite a bit of that. So there's going to be some of that in the back. I don't want to have really small pieces in the back because that makes too many seams for quilting. But it's good to evaluate what I've got. So that that pink, I've got quite a lot, so I can put a nice big piece of that in the back too. I think for this quilt, I want to make something that's a little, um, you know, more decorative than just chunks of fabric sewn together in big blocks. So I'm going to figure out a little pattern to put in the back and uh, make use of the things that I have. That purple is going to be a big part of it. So you know my process by now. I take little bits of paper and do little sketches. I drew something in the grid that, um, you know, I know it's 60 by 80, so I just drew something that was longer than narrow, gave myself a little bit more information about the border, maybe something in the middle. Then I went and did another one with a little bit more detail. And then I took a piece of paper and gridded with uh, my ruler and it's um, six, six wide and eight tall so they're each 10 inch increments and looking at the pieces of fabric that I have left over I know that that one there has the most and the other bits are somewhat um, smaller and so I have to accommodate what I've got. So on my grid here I've got that um, light purple over there is going to be this part at the bottom and this part up the side and at the top and down so it's going to form a border and I can cut those pieces in big pieces because I have quite a bit of that fabric. <clears throat> and the block in the middle is going to use the other colors. So the piece of fabric that is my focus fabric on the front, this one, is probably going to go right here in the middle. And then these color blocks are going to be the bits and pieces of what's left over 
so that I can uh, use up the pieces that I have left from the front. And so I'm just going to start measuring and cutting those blocks and assembling them on my design wall so I can make a backing for the block of the month. I chose this kind of a grid because I really didn't have very much of some of the fabrics left over and I just wanted to make use of the things that I have and use them on the back. So I will measure some and decide how they're going to go together and then I'll make some sew them together. So here will be my centerpiece to go in the back of my um, block of the month. I have very little of some of these fabrics left over and none of the others left over. And I'll just show you what I have left. There's, there's a substantial piece of the dark blue and the, the bright pink. And I will fold those up and put them back in my um, folded fabric. They're bigger than a fat quarter. I'll, I'll use them in my folded fabric. And over here, there's very little of that orange print. I didn't even use it in the back. And the pink right here, there's bits and pieces. Both of those are going to get cut up and put in my squares bin. This piece over here, I didn't use either because there wasn't enough. It will get cut up and put in my strip bin. And this piece, that lonely piece of the fabric I used as the main focus, there's barely uh, an eight inch strip of that and I will put it in my scrap scrap bin of green prints. So that's what I have left over from all the fabric that I started with and the only two pieces that really are going to go into service again as full pieces are this pink and this dark blue. The rest will all get cut up or put in my scrap bin. They'll get used at some point. So now that is based on a 10 inch square. I cut out, cut out 10 and 1 half inch squares for the corners and the center. And for those half square triangles, I cut out 11 inch squares. And some of them are pieced. The two light purples in the center are pieced. The two orangey bits that are in the half square triangles are pieced. And uh, I'll sew those together. And then I have this big piece of that purple print that I used on the front. And it is going to go, it will go around all of these sections along there to fill up the border. But I really want to sew the center part together first. And then once it's sewn, I can accurately cut the amount that I need for the borders to go around it so that it fits and I don't, I'm not left with a half an inch that I can't cover, something like that. So now I'm just going to sew those pieces together in rows, press it, and I will cut, cut the border pieces and I'll have the backing ready. So Here's the backing pinned up on the wall right beside the front. Now I've laid them out on my tabletop. I'm pinning the batting inside, all pinned. Now it's ready to sew. I just do straight line quilting stitches with my walking foot, bind it, and here is the finished product. This was a really good project. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. See you next time. Bye.